G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. Really, really quick video today for a really simple, easy math trick, how to multiply any number by 11 directly. So sit back, enjoy, learn something. And uh, if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and hit the bell as well if you want to get uh, notifications when my next videos come out. So let's go into this. Let's directly multiply. Uh, so let's go 213 times 11. Now, directly multiplying this, you can get the following answer, 2,343. Now, look, I'm going to show you right now how I did that so quickly. Now, just a little thing when we do this, by the way, if you're trying to do this mentally, you can probably be going left to right when you work out your answer. If you're trying to go on a piece of paper when you do it, I recommend going right to left. Okay, so I'm going to be doing it on paper here on the screen, so we're going to be uh, having a look right to left. So to get our units part of the answer, we literally look at the units part of our question here and we carry it across. Okay, so we carry it down. So three becomes a three down here. To get the tens part, we're going to add these two numbers here. The two rightmost numbers, one plus three is equal to four. To get the hundreds part of our answer, we're going to add these two numbers, two plus one is equal to three. And to get the thousands part of our answer, well, this two is just carried down. And that's how you go about directly multiplying. I will show you why this works a bit later on. But there is a bit of a complication you can get with this just to be aware of. So for our second question, I'm going to show you where a complication can arise. Nothing major. You just have to do a little bit of carrying. Uh, say, for instance, it was a question like this. It was a question like 258 times 11. Okay, so the first part of our answer, what we'd do is we'd just write down this units part, and that's an 8. The next thing we'd do is we'd add these two numbers together. Now, you're going to see if we do this, 5 plus 3 is equal to 13. All right, so what's going on here? Did we just put a 13 down? And that's not what happens at all. We put the following part down. We just put the units part down. Okay, so and then we're going to carry this one across to the next part of our answer. So we put the 3 down, and we're going to carry this one across. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, plus this 1 is equal to 8. And the last part of our answer, we're just going to move the 2 down here. 2,838. That was nothing major, right? Okay, a bit more complicated when you're trying to do it in your head. You just have to watch out for those. So what about, I'm going to give you a couple of two easy ones, and then two harder ones, and then we'll look at why this works. Okay, some examples for you. What about we do 314 times 11? What about we do 217 times 11? What about we do 383 times 11? And what about we do 275 times 11? Okay, what about you give these a go? Okay, so how did you go with those? Let's uh, go straight into them. These first ones, now look, they're going to be pretty easy. There's going to be no carrying involved. I'm going to do them left to right. Really easy to do in your head. So the first part of our answer is going to be a 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. And the last part of our answer is a 4. 3,454. Same with the second question. No carrying involved. So 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. And the last part of our answer is a 7. 2,387. For the third question, a bit more difficult now, there will be carrying involved because 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Same down here. I'm going to do this one right to left just to save on the uh, <laughs> aggravation. So the 3 is going to go down here. We're going to then going to go 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. So we put a 1 down and we're going to carry the 1. 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 plus this 1 here is equal to 12. We put a 2 down and carry the 1. The last part of our answer, 3 plus 1, well, there we go, 4,213. Same deal here. Uh, 5 plus 7 is going to equal 12, so there will be carrying involved. In fact, let's just go through and do it now. So the 5 is going to go down first. 5 plus 7, as we said, is equal to 12. So the 2 goes down here. We carry the 1. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Plus 1 is 10. Okay, so I'm going to put a 0 down there and a 1 there. Because the last part of our answer is a 2. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Now, I'm going to show you why this works now, but it's a pretty cool trick, right? Uh, let's see why this works. Okay, to see what's going on here, I reckon we just go and use an example. So say we were to multiply the following two numbers here, uh, 352, and we're multiplying this by 11. 
Now, I'm just going to put the place value of each part of these numbers above it. So the three is a hundredths, the five is a tens part of the number, and the two is a units. For our 11, we have a tens and a units part. In our answer, we're going to have a thousands part of our answer, a hundredths, a tens, and a units. Now, I'm going to show you why this is important when we're working out what we're working out. So the first thing you're going to say is, okay, we can work out the units part of our answer. We were just writing this number down here. Okay, so what's happening? The only way that we can actually get a units number is by multiplying a units by a units here, okay? And because two times one is gonna be two, we're just essentially writing this number down here, okay? So that's the units part of our answer. For the next part of our answer, for the tens part, well, there's a couple of things that can occur. There's two different ways we can get tens. We could go units times tens here, or tens times units here, both of them giving us tens answers. And then we'd have to add those two answers together. Now, what do we have going on here? We have a five times a one and a two times a one. Now, look, that's pretty redundant multiplying by one. It doesn't really do very much. It doesn't change our uh, answer. So all we're going to be really doing is just adding our five and two here. Five plus two is equal to seven. Now, you're probably going to see what's going on now, right? <laughs> How do we go about getting the hundredths part of our answer? We could have hundredths times units, or you could have tens times tens. But once again, you're multiplying by ones over here, so really all we're worried about is what's happening with these numbers over here. And we're going to add those. 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. The last part of our answer, well, the only way we can get a thousands part is by multiplying the two biggest parts here. We have the tens by the hundreds, and this would give us a thousands answer we multiplied. But once again, multiplying by one doesn't change the uh, number, so we just write down the three. 3,872. And that's why that trick works, okay? Anyway, hopefully you like this uh, particular trick. And like I said, if you do, hit the like button and subscribe and put on the notifications as well. Once again, a really, really big shout out, by the way, to my uh, patrons. And as well as Gary, who donated some money as well to the TechPath channel. Look, your support is greatly appreciated. Anyway, any videos you'd like me to make, make sure you put it in the comments. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.